Hello, and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. Today I'm going to go over some notes around my freeform crochet death head moth. Now, if you're as big a fan of Silence of the Lambs as I am, beginning with the book by Thomas Harris and the incredibly adapted movie, then you are as excited about making this crochet death head moth as I was about designing it. There are features that are really up to individual interpretation. Obviously, I use this picture as my inspiration. And in my final pattern, I'm going to add a little yellow accent here. So let's just talk a little bit about the pattern. The link to the pattern is in this video. It's also in the description below. If you purchase the pattern through my website, my website will automatically generate a membership for you. And you'll get an email with login instructions and how to see the video tutorials. A freeform crochet pattern like this requires videos. I bend a few rules, I break a few rules, I make up some new ones as I go, because in the end, it's really about making my pattern look exactly the way I want it to look. And since I'm all about vegan art, I thought how nice would it be if I wanted to frame one of these beauties, if I could just whip one up with some yarn, because it's so pretty. I mean, as far as replicating it, I think I've done pretty good. Now, if you buy this pattern through Etsy, you'll have to email me and let me know that I have permission to start a membership for you on the website. I'll have that information in the description of the pattern. It's probably a lot easier if you just go to my website and download it and everything happens automatically. So the pattern itself really, um, all of this is just five different color worsted weight yarn, one chenille stem. This is optional. I had some lamb's pride bulky wool in my stash. So, and, it, and the color was so close to my acrylic yarn that I just pulled like three strips through and trimmed them a little bit just to more match the picture here where it looks like it's got some little fuzzy tufts of hair. But that's completely optional. Um, I also took some fabric glue and glued some of the wool right around the top tips of the antennas here, also optional. The embellishments here, really up to interpretation. Uh, we'll go over exactly how I do it in the video tutorials, but that part is definitely free form and you can get as detailed as you want. I went simple here because this is my prototype. And then, yeah, everything else except for this and this is just five colors of worsted weight yarn. You can use any brand you want. This is a heathered gray, black. You can see black in the detail here along the body orange, yellow, and tan. And if you wanted to skip the black, you could just go with four shades. You just have to remember in the pattern that color A and B are the same. Also, I put 20 gauge wire in my wings. So there's a strip that goes from here to here, and then a strip from here to here. Not necessary, especially if you're framing it, uh, which is a great gift for someone who loves moths and butterflies and Silence of the Lambs, but I went ahead and put wire in mine just in case the wings were floppy because I wanted to be able to turn it over like this and show it off. And I didn't want it to, I wanted it to be really stable as I did that. And I think that's it. I would normally go over some of my abbreviations, but the same abbreviations I use in this pattern are the ones that you'd find in my Monarch Butterfly. So I'll link to that video here and below. And yeah, so in this one, I added this little detail here, which I think is nice. So that'll be my final pattern. For tips on framing, I'm linking to a video on how to frame your applique or death head moth 
in the video and also in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions or just want to share your version of this beautiful moth, you can share through Instagram and tag me at Lydia Hawk Designs and hashtag Lydia Hawk Designs and also LHD Death Head Moth. Thank you for dropping in. I hope you buy the pattern and make this beautiful Death Head Moth with me. I look forward to it. Until next time.